Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going to go over the hustle and rise of Metro Boomin. Initially, I was going to do a branding video on Metro Boomin, but I really thought about it, and so many of the things are what I consider to be obvious at the point, but I'll mention, of course, he had the brand associations when you talk about rising together with Young Thug and Future and being a constant source for production. He did a great job of bringing visibility to himself by getting in some videos, not saying I'm out there trying to be a superstar, but he made sure he was seen people knew how he looked. He stepped into the fashion world, which really helped elevate his brand as a rock star producer. He constantly alternates between headbands and glasses, which creates an image consistency for his signature look. And of course, he's now making those power moves to have his own music that features other artists instead that elevates him as an artist outside of just being a producer. A lot of you guys already seen me talk about that specific strategy in one of these other videos. I'll pop it up somewhere in this video. But now I want to talk about the most important part of Metro Boomin's rise that I feel like gets overlooked, but is especially the most relevant to where a lot of you guys are now. Back when Metro Boomin was still in St. Louis, he was online all the time, like a lot of producers especially are, and he constantly stayed seeking out people who are relevant to his career, tweeting them, finding them on MySpace. I believe he found Sunny Digital while he was on MySpace, but he was also going on Wikipedia, looking up a &Rs for all types of songs and tweeting them ceaselessly, meaning without end. There's interviews with Sunny Digital talking about how Metro used to hit him up all the time. And eventually he was responding, not all the time, as Metro said, but he was responding. That was the beginning of their relationship. A friend of OJ the Juice Man got word of him the same way and OJ the Juice Man is basically a mentee of Gucci Mane. This is all when Metro was in St. Louis. So he's leveraging the internet because St. Louis isn't necessarily as popping as Atlanta musically, particularly for producers. Atlanta is literally the best place for hip hop producers right now. So when he went to college, she decided to go to Morehouse so he could be here in Atlanta. I think he dropped out before he even completed an entire year at Morehouse. But the biggest part that I want to highlight in this part of Metro's story that I think is useful is not that, ooh, he was hustling and he was reaching out to people and he was successful. I know that's hard for a lot of people, but it's really a lot more important to realize who he was reaching out to. Looking at album and song credits and finding out who are the A&Rs, the engineers, producers, all these back-end people that are involved in songs and reaching out to them. These are the people who don't necessarily get hit up by a lot of people because a lot of people don't even know them. And I even know that some of you are familiar with the idea that it's a lot better to go for the team instead of going for the big name. It's like when they say, don't go for the girl you want, go for her friends, make them like you, and then she's gonna like you. But even still, a lot of people who knew that didn't necessarily know how to find those people. Going on Wikipedia, going through song credits and all that stuff is a great way to get that done in itself so easy. The information is there. So many of my connections or research isn't done on social media. Sometimes I'll use social media to get in contact with people, but I find people find out about them outside of social media first. So I'm glad that this point came up in Metro's story because I think it'll help so many of you guys. And once again, I'll do some kind of document at some point that will kind of break down some great ways to reach out to people to make yourself more receptible. But at the end of the day, no matter what, it's a numbers game. Inti ways. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.